What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video and we have to talk about Dogecoin here today. So with Dogecoin, uh, I was swing trading it and day trading it yesterday, but as you can see, we are actually up here with Dogecoin. We got all the way up here to about 27.80, almost 28 cents. I think it actually did hit 28 cents, but like just barely hit 28 cents. Just like yesterday, we had more resistance at 28 cents. That's actually where I sold my Dogecoin. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that today because I actually think we're about to break that resistance today. We're just on the right track to break that resistance. And I just see it happening every day. And uh, yesterday we did, uh, I did set a new trend line yesterday. And what uh, the trend line I did set was over here yesterday that we broke. We started to go down. And remember these are only short term charts. We started to go down. But then we did not go down anymore. We only went down for that period of time, which actually helped me setting that trend line because then I was able to sell right here exactly at the top. And then I followed the whole trend line down. And I was like, all right, is this the bottom? And then I waited until it jumped and dropped like twice. And then I was like, all right, that must be the bottom. So then I was like, all right, I purchased, I repurchased in right here, right before it started going down again. But you know we got diamonds hands here so i knew we weren't going to continue to go down because that trend line was already broken and we were already starting a new trend line we just need this we just needed to make a new low for the trend line a new bottom point for the trend line which was right there so this is our new trend line that we're following i'm predicting that this would do something like this maybe go down to like 27 16 maybe even the tip of 26 cents um you know like high 26 cents right now but right now we are going to continue to rise here with those i want to see us break 28 cents resistance right here because we can't get past this and remember guys i'm looking at a very short term chart here this is a one minute chart so this chart is only today and yesterday and the day before that and it's only half of the day before that so this is a really short chart that we're looking at here and remember when i say that i'm selling out of a position I'm most likely day trading it or swing trading it and I'm most likely about to be right back into another position in about another hour or so. So don't think that I'm, when I say I'm selling out of my position, don't think that I'm just selling everything because I sell it and then I get right back in at an even better position. Like yesterday when I did that, I got out at 26k doge, got back in at 27.7k doge. So now instead of $26,000 at $1, I will have $27,700 at $1. So this is pretty much where we're at with Doge. And the reason why I'm not trying to sell right now is because, yes, we may actually continue to go down here because we can't break this $0.28 cents resistance. But honestly, we may, just, we, just, we may just blow past this $0.28 cents resistance here. Like anything could happen with Doge right now. And I'm kind of suspecting that we do a little bit of a downtrend here. Since we can't break this resistance, we might do a little short-term trending here. We might go a little sideways, you know, might hit that $0.27 cents mark. And, if, you know, if we go ahead and hit that $0.27 cents mark there, that's another good point because that may be our next low. As you can see, we keep setting higher lows here. Like this was a low. Remember, we're only talking about for the last three days here. We're not talking about anything else just the last three days because we are day trading and we are swing trading and we are making sure that or I am making sure that I can get all the profits that I can. And, and you know, I'm swing trading, day trading. You don't have to swing trading, day trade. I'm just showing you where the chart is. So if you're not a swing trader and day trader, it's still good to look at these charts and watch what I'm doing. So then you know the direction of the crypto for the next day or two. So right now we are continuing on an uptrend and we are not going to actually, we're not going to have a huge, huge dip. I do not believe we are at a huge resistance here. And the last time we had resistance, let's go over here to a bigger chart. So yeah, the last time we had resistance, we actually did take a dip. We had some resistance here and that was just about 28 cents to 30 cents. But yeah, it was about 28 cents here and we had resistance and we're having the same exact resistance here. So this is uh this is something to look at here with Doge. We might break out really soon because last time we had resistance, we dipped. And that was about right here. It wasn't even a large dip. It was a small dip. Uh, but yeah, we dipped. And then uh, we also had more resistance up here. And then we started to dip. And then we started to come back because, you know, people want to make money back so they can see a really good deal. So they buy the dip and they come back. We had more resistance. It wanted to go up here. It wanted to go above 35 cents, above 33 cents, but it could not. So it continued to drop. 
and then we started to jump here and it continued to drop so i think after we pass this uh 28 cents mark our next resistance line may be 38 cents or 30 cents and as you can see we're like we're rising really slowly because what we'll do we'll rise we'll rise we'll rise we'll break we'll break the odds let's say we break the odds like right here it's a mediocre star right here but let's say we break the odds right there boom we're probably going to go right back down but then we're going to set a new low and this low is going to be higher than the previous low right here yeah this low right here is going to be higher than the previous low the previous low was this low and the new low would be this one which would probably be around a good 25 cents a good uh 27 cents maybe because you know we can continue to dip sometimes and as you can see every day we continue to rise here at redoge and then we continue to dip here around uh 1300 uh military time 1300 military time is 1 p.m so maybe around 1 p.m we may start to drop again and remember i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice i'm just kind of watching the charts here just kind of doing my own thing here kind of day trading swing trading doing what i do best here but yeah i've been seeing a lot of movement here with doge and like right around here was 1 p.m actually yeah this is 12 and then uh 1 p.m would be right down here going down so as you can see around 1 p.m we usually do go down and then we meet our maker which is the bottom the bottom of the day of the chart of whatever it will be and this is just something that we see a lot here with doge this was 1 p.m as well this was the 24th and as you can see we start to go down from 1 p.m and then we really reach our true bottom down here so yeah this is something to think about with doge this one was more around 12 ish and we really hit our true bottom around 12 not one but it's just something to think about with doge so if you are a swing trader and day trader just know like we reach our lows during the day we reach our highs really during the mornings so right now that's why you can see it's 7 21 a.m i got up so early just to do this video because i seen that doge did a lot of movement overnight and that we were up so i'm definitely happy that we're up we're all happy here and honestly you don't even need the day trade or swing trade you can all you can come out on top regardless with dogecoin we're gonna continue to rise here look at what we're doing with dogecoin like we're just we're on this uptrend we're on this constant uptrend so even when we do go down we all know it's a temporary downtime so if you're if you don't want to swing trade or day trade uh dogecoin that's fine because ultimately we're going up so let's say that you want to stay in and it goes down here you're not going to stay down there you're going to fluctuate up and down and then ultimately you're going to end up around here around the 30th we may be around like 40 cents but remember things drop and they consolidate low so that's what we want to look at here when we're dealing with dogecoin so yeah this is just a little um little update here on dogecoin on what i'm doing personally remember not a financial advisor that's not financial advice gotta say that all the time we all gotta say that now because you already know how it is but yeah dogecoin has been shooting up recently but dogecoin has been doing really good and yeah you just look at this when you look at it from the one minute chart like you see we just had like huge recent growth right there we tried to break 28 cents but we couldn't even get past 27.70 so right now this could be a good point for people to sell who are day trading and then maybe buying it back right down here but it's such a low it's such a low uh change and it's such a low drop that i would not even want to do that myself so to be honest i'm gonna hold dogecoin i'm gonna hold those on i'm probably not gonna swing or day trade it today because i don't see it fluctuating as much as the other days uh and we are early in the morning so i could be wrong here but we did just reach a new point in dogecoin so today i actually believe is going to be the day that we break our resistance here at 28 cents because look at that that's our resistance here 28 cents we are resisting there obviously this is short-term resistance by the way this is for the 26th for the 27th and if you come all the way back here for the uh 20 the 25th we also were trying to get past 28 cents uh we passed 28 but we're trying to get past 29 so in a way it was still kind of a 28 cents line that we were at but yeah, as you can see here, we are trying to pass it right now, but we have set a new a new low point. Like, look, this is where uh, we were at normally for uh, the time being back there. This is where we are at normally for our completely down to the bottom low. Now you can see we're up here 27.19. And yes, we can go down more throughout the day, 
But as you can see, those kind of levels out at these certain points, and it won't go below that for the day. So that's one thing to think about with Doge. And we've been trading sideways for a few days here, so we may actually come at a breakout. And this is what I mean by the breakout. Let's look at a bigger chart. The reason why I think we could actually break out today is, look, we've been trading sideways, but ultimately we've been going up. We've been going up, and we've just been having a higher low right here. As you can see, now it's right here. Everything's been trading sideways recently. So this really tells us that we're about to have a huge jump in Doge. Every time we trade sideways, we always have a jump, and that's with anything. Like, uh, I want you all to look over here, right here. We actually traded sideways for a very long time there. And Elon Musk actually tweeted right around here. And then this that's when I started to get really big. I started to get really big on Doge around the 6th. And actually, I've been in Doge since 2019. But um, I just started making videos here around the 6th. And then this is when I started saying Dogecoin to the moon. A lot of people started following my channel from there. And then when I started saying that, a lot of people started making money. And they noticed uh, just in a matter of a few days, they nearly tripled their money. Or, well, doubled their money right there. And then they tripled their money once they held in here. This is when I started getting really heavy on Doge. And then my biggest day for Doge was up here. Our All, all of our biggest days for Doge were up here. I told all of my followers that I sold out up here. I told them I sold my Doge. And then I bought back in when it went down to about 30 something cents. Probably about right here because I was like, okay, we're definitely going to continue to go up. But we, it did not happen like that. Doge Day did not happen in our favor. So we actually all lost out there. So do, don't be mad because I watched my money go straight down. Then I watched it go straight up. And then I thought again, like, uh, we, we know what happened there. Should I hold? And I was like, okay, I'll hold because it's Doge Day. Why not? I held my doge all the way down until about right here until I decided to cut my losses and continue to swing trade and day trade. That's when I sold here. And then I rebought Dogecoin up here. And then I sold it. And then I watched it go. Or no, I didn't sell it. I mean I rebought it and then I held on to it and then it dropped. And I was like, oh no, I should have sold it so then I could have bought that drop. And then I was kind of salty. And I actually I actually ended up saying, okay, that's fine. And then I waited for it to jump again. And then I, and then I continued to do this with Doge, continue to swing it. And yeah, we've just been going crazy with Doge here. Yeah, I definitely can believe we're going to continue to rise here. But honestly, I'm still in the positive because all the way back here when I started with Doge, I started with $5,000, ran it all the way up to about 12000 here. And then it went back down to 11000 and then now around here, I am at 7,500. If I didn't swing trade and do my uh, swing trade and day trades with Doge, I'd probably be at 6,900. So that's something to think about. I've got, I've, I've, I've accumulated, can't speak right now. I've accumulated a lot of Doge. I've actually accumulated 2,000 Doge over this whole t uh, time period, you know, because I started out with like 25,000 here. And then I've been tweet trading, and now I have 27,000 Doge. So if we go back to these uh, points where we were at before, I'm going to be in a better position than I was before. So that's really good to think about with the day trading and swing training. And, you know, that's just a little bit of day trading and swing training for you. You will get enormous gains if you know exactly what you're doing. And what you're doing has to be calculated. Like right here, I could definitely sell Doge. But we are probably projected to get more closer to 28 cents. And honestly, I'm predicting that we break our resistance today. So selling here would not be in my best interest, even if we started to drop right now, because there's no way to know if we drop or if we jump. So if we do drop anyway, I don't believe we'll go too, below, too much below 27 cents. And if we do, the lowest we should go is 26 cents. Because yesterday, as we can see, we did go all the way down here to 25, but that was 25.98. That wasn't 25 cents flat. That was 25.98. That was the lowest point we got yesterday. So today, I honestly don't believe the lowest point will get below this or this line. And if it gets below this line, then not this line. So we're doing really good here with Doge. And day trading and swing trading with Doge is definitely helping a lot of people pay their bills out here. It's helped me out a lot. But uh, yeah, I'm just watching this chart right now. Let's look at our market cap for the day. I want to see what we have for market cap. So we have 35.5 billion in market cap, only 5.4 billion dollars in Doge traded in the 24-hour period. 
that's crazy to think about because 420 we had 24 billion doge yesterday we had 8.3 billion doge traded in 24 hours so to see that we're going up but doge is being traded less means more people are actually holding doge and the people that are buying it aren't selling it they're i mean the people that are trading it aren't selling it they're buying it so these five this 5.4 billion is more buy transactions than it is sells and we have less transactions than we did yesterday and less transactions than we did those day 420 which means people are starting to hold it more and they are buying more doge and that's why the price is going up steadily and gradually and we're trading sideways and we're not doing what we did back in the day where we just shot up and yes i'm saying back in the day for like a few days ago because like i said doge a few days that's a long time here in doge like all the way back here that was a long time this was back in the day with doge so that was way back in the day so yeah when we shoot up with doge we're gonna shoot up huge and as you can see like we had a lot of volume back here let's go over to our candlestick so we can really see our true view here um so like as you can see we had a lot going on with those back here we had a lot of people buying and then when it dropped we had a lot of people selling so as you see now more people are starting to buy than sell i guess you see a lot of selling pressure here but we're continuing to rise here because we have more buy orders than we do sell orders so dogecoin is continuing to rise I wouldn't be too sad that we're continuing to drop or that we're just trading sideways because it's only temporary this this type of stuff it really only happens temporary but like yeah you can see exactly what we're doing with doge we dropped all the way down here boohoo we're gonna continue to go up here i mean yeah if you, if you invested all the way up here i understand why you're mad and upset but again that's why i always say only invest what you're willing to lose everyone says this because if you're not willing to lose it, then you could possibly lose it all and you will be very angry with yourself. And right now, I put so much money into Doge, I wouldn't even be mad if it went all the way down to uh, where it was before. Because I started my investing journey with $700. So I'm happy where I'm at, wherever I am at. That's just my perspective here. But I understand everyone is in a different position. So definitely, if you aren't willing to lose all your money in Doge, don't invest all of it in only put what you're willing to lose in so put a cool $100 if you're only willing to lose that or a thousand if you're only willing to lose that and then from there you know just continue to rise with those and do what you do but yeah we've been trying to break this resistance in my honest opinion we are about to we are about to truly break out here here with doge so this could be a huge breakout and for better or for worse so either we break out and we continue to go positive or we break out and we go negative and a negative breakout will bring us down, like I said, 15 cents. That would be our lowest for our negative breakout. Honestly, I hope we don't do that. But if we do, that would be the lowest point we go. And it would be looking something like this. A lot of people would be mad. But it would be right before May 8th. And right around here, this would be around May 1st. So it wouldn't even be around May 8th yet. And this is something important to think about because may 8th is saturday night live with elon musk and we're hoping that he says something about doge because that will help us all out but yeah let's uh see honestly where i think we will be at by may 8th we would probably be somewhere in the green by may 8th but honestly i can't i can't say because you know i'm not financial advisor not financial advice so i can't say 100 percent where we would be and i don't believe that we'll just continue to drop like that because the uptrend doesn't lie the uptrend never lies so we are definitely going to continue on a rise here on an uprise uptrend we are going to continue to rise here with doge but i would just say everyone needs to be optimistic here and not uh not have paper hands just hold it if you need the money immediately do not hold doge only hold a little bit of doge but if you don't need the money immediately i would say leave it in there it's an insurance policy Doge will continue to rise Doge is kind of like the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is worth a lot in a lot of different countries. And Doge is kind of the same thing because if you think about it, Doge continues to have 5 billion Doge put into circulation every single year. And the U.S. dollar actually just had trillions put into circulation just within the last year. So you can definitely see the price of Doge rising with the U.S. dollar because we, we put so much USD inside of the system that usd the value could go down which means that those will go up but honestly the value could go up 
the value could go up as well with USD, just as long as the economy continues to rise and do what it needs to do in order to come back. But yeah, I, I believe the economy is doing good right now. We're doing really good with the economy. It's still rising. But yeah, we're still continuing to rise here with Doge too. Let's look at Twitter, see what we have for our Twitter supporters. Because we all know the community in Doge is one of the most important things that we got going on with Dogecoin. Dogecoin, the moon, this is what we need to look at. Dogecoin to the moon, we need to be training here. So yeah, and now I'm talking about the moon. Don't miss out on an event that happens once in a pink moon. Tonight, beginning at 11.32 p.m., peak outside. And yeah, that already happened, but uh, a super moon will rise on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I might just have my days wrong. A super moon will rise on Tuesdays. April's full moon passes. But yeah, it is Tuesday right now. So it has not passed, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue to go across here and look at our Doge supporters. And this is kind of big. Maybe maybe we have uh, Elon Musk saying Doge on the moon tonight. So maybe at this uh, whole super moon tonight, we have a whole Doge, you know, a whole Doge growth growth rally. But uh, let's go ahead and look up our main supporter here, Slim Jim. Yes, Slim Jim is our main supporter now. No longer Elon Musk. He's still a big supporter here, but Slim Jim is beating him in the support. Look at this. Slim Jim is crazy with the support. I've never seen someone uh, support something so heavily. Look at this. Sense tweet with a Slim Jim. I'm typing with a slim, slender James right now. Look at this. Slim Jim is definitely one of our biggest biggest supporters, though. So we got to continue to uh, support Slim Jim in, uh, in return. If we look here, Axe, Axe doesn't post that much, honestly. They haven't really posted much about Doge since uh, the 23rd. And that's kind of weird. They definitely should continue to post about it if they're really supporting us. Or they may just be, you know, trying to support their own brand. Most likely, that's what they're trying to do. As you can see, Dogecoin is more, or Slim Jim is more focused on supporting Dogecoin, not its own brand. Slim Jim is just Doge all day. They'll just say a random Doge tweet. They won't even mention Slim Jim. They'll just say Doge. But, you know, you've seen Axe. Axe is all about their product. They only made about two posts with uh, Dogecoin in it. And none of them had Dogecoin 100% and no no product placement they always have their product placement with the uh, doge so you can see it's not as genuine as slim jim slim jim is more genuine literal larry my best friend is jim, slim jim i want to share a moment with him can we both add slim jim and me to be at 106k followers at the same time okay little larry trying to get some followers out of slim jim 106.9k slim jim's at 106.2k but yeah, we will continue to rise here. We just want to see new growth here. We want to see new people helping and new people supporting our uh, cause here. Elon Musk, we need to see him tweet or we need to see him talk about this on Saturday Night Live. Remember, we're having that on May 8th. So we're going to have Saturday Night Live with on May 8th with uh, Elon Musk. So this is going to be really big, really big news here for Elon Musk and for uh, Dogecoin. So yeah, Dogecoin continue to watch it. We're still, we're actually still doing really good when it comes to Google Trends. Uh, no, not Gmail. Wrong thing. Uh, let's go over to Google Trends here and see what we're doing. All right. Oh wow. See these mouses with the uh, back buttons on them always get me. But yeah, let's talk about Dogecoin. All righty, Dogecoin. Let's see. We're still trending here. Still trending with Dogecoin. Dogecoin will not stop trending. Dogecoin is going to trend for the rest of its career, for the rest of its life. Dogecoin will be a trend. This is big. Look at Dogecoin here. We're continuing to do things. Mark Cuban and Dogecoin. Let's look up Mark Cuban here so we can see our big news with Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban. Here we are. Tomorrow, Mark Cuban will be on The Ellen Show. You guessed it, Dogecoin. Yes, he's going to be on Ellen DeGeneres talking about Dogecoin. He's going to be on the Ellen Show talking about Dogecoin. 79 million followers. This is why we're going up. And this is why I'm telling you, I am not selling my Dogecoin right now. Like, he said this 12 hours ago. 12 hours ago, he did say tomorrow. So 12 hours ago was yesterday. 
So that's today. Just talk to my friends at BitPay. They do the Mavericks do Doge sales. Not only do the Mavericks sales continue to grow, but BitPay says they are on a track to do 6K Doge transactions in April. Wow. Because Doge is the one. Uh, let me like this. and <laughs> Let me just support this really quick. Because Doge is the one that people actually use for transactions, we take many others via BitPay. But people send their doge and that means more businesses will start taking it the greatest inhibitor to its growth is that you can't spend the doge you buy on robin hood okay that's actually pretty big he was responding to this guy why doge over other cryptos designed to be currency mark why not back one that has utility and value because bitcoin is a store of value it is not meant to be spent there's only 21 million bitcoins that can ever be in possession and there's infinity doge there's five billion extra doge every year i mean you do the math it's easy here doge is just like the u.s dollar doge continues to go up in price because doge will continue to be circulated throughout the um throughout the blockchain this is crazy with doge though we have mark cuban here he is a billionaire with the mavericks so yeah dogecoin is going to continue to rise here we have really big news here with mark cuban so that's something we definitely need to watch out for Watch out for that um, Ellen DeGeneres show because when he talks about Dogecoin on there, there's 79 people that follow Ellen and there's probably even more that watch her show to be honest. And for him to be talking about that on her show, this is going to be really big. I definitely expect Doge to jump within the next few days because you got to think he said tomorrow, so it should be today. And then also when we think about it, Elon Musk is going to be on Saturday Night Live talking about Doge. So that's two billionaires talking about Dogecoin on platforms with more than 10 million people watching. So do the math there. This is going to be billions of dollars being thrown into Doge over the next week. So if you want to be in on this profit, I would definitely hop in now. And you can definitely see that translating into the price now because we continue to have this good news about Doge as we continue to rise here. So it's definitely translating into our price and our price target continues to rise here with Doge. But yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and check out the link in the description. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.